The Mobile Continent by Chris Oxlade. Contents. The world of mobile phones. 2. What is a mobile phone? 4. Mobile phone networks. 8. Paying for calls. 12. Mobile phones in Africa. 14. The mobile continent. 16. A continent connected. 20. More and more mobiles. 26. Did you know? 28. Glossary. 30. Index. 31. The world of mobile phones. Many people have mobile phones. Perhaps they just make phone calls and send messages to their relatives and friends. They might use their mobile phones in other ways, too. What do mobile phones do? Modern mobile phones are amazing machines that do many different jobs. People use them for talking to other people, for sending messages, for taking photographs and videos, for listening to music, and for connecting to the Internet. What is a mobile phone? A mobile phone is an electronic device. The word mobile in mobile phone means that the phone can be carried around. It doesn't need to be connected to other phones with wires. It uses radio instead. All mobile phones need a SIM card like this. The card contains the information the phone needs to connect to other phones. Simple mobiles. Simple mobile phones can make phone calls and send text messages. They also play music and take photographs. Smartphones A smartphone is a mobile phone that is like a mini computer. It can do lots more jobs than a simple mobile phone, but it is more expensive to buy. Smartphones have a touch screen. People use their fingers to choose items on the screen and type in numbers and text. An app is a computer program that works on a smartphone. There are thousands of apps that make smartphones do all sorts of different jobs. The most popular apps are for sending emails, for looking at websites, for playing games, and for navigation, finding the way. Mobile networks. A mobile network connects mobile phones to each other. The network also connects mobile phones to fixed-line telephones and connects smartphones to the Internet. Mobile aerials Radio aerials are part of a mobile network. They are found in many places. When someone talks into a mobile phone, the sound of their voice is turned into invisible radio waves that spread out from the phone. The waves are called a signal. A radio aerial detects the signal. The aerial could be at the top of a tall tower or on top of a high building. Mobile cells. All the mobile phones in one area are connected to the same aerial by radio signals. The area is called a cell. This is why mobile phones are also often called cell phones. A mobile phone network is made up of lots of cells, each with its own aerial. The aerials are connected to each other by radio or by underground cables. A phone in one cell can connect to a phone in another cell. Paying for calls People pay to make phone calls, send texts, and find information from the Internet on a mobile phone. Computers in a mobile phone network measure how long people talk for, how many text messages they send, and how much Internet data they use. The computers calculate how much money they spend. How to add credit Money, called credit, is put on a mobile phone. When it runs out of money, no more calls can be made. Many people buy credit only when they need it. This is called pay-as-you-go. Mobile phones in Africa 
Before mobile phones were invented, all phones were fixed line phones. Fixed line phones are connected together by wires. In many countries around the world, most people have fixed line phones in their homes and offices. But in many African countries, there are very few fixed line phones. This means that a lot of people never had a phone before mobile phones were invented. New mobile phone networks in Africa mean that most people can now have a phone. The Mobile Continent Mobile phones are popular everywhere in the continent of Africa. By 2015, more than 600 million Africans owned a mobile phone. That's more than one for every two people who live in Africa. There are now many more mobile phones in Africa than there are fixed landline phones. Today, most Africans have never used a fixed line phone, and a mobile phone is the first sort of phone they ever see. Africa is sometimes known as the mobile continent. Crossing Barriers Africa is a huge continent. It has high mountain ranges and vast deserts. There are dense jungles and big rivers. It is hard to connect the network aerials in different places. The mobile phone companies have connected countries around Africa's coastline with undersea cables. They have connected remote places with satellites, radio masts, and optical cables under the ground. A continent connected. Mobile phones are making big changes. People in remote areas are connecting up with the rest of the world to talk and send messages. People who have never used a computer are connecting up to the Internet with their smartphones. They can send emails, read online news, watch videos, and use social media such as Facebook and Twitter. In Africa, people have found lots of other ways that mobile phones can help them, such as paying in shops, learning at school, keeping healthy, and growing crops. Mobile money. In Africa, using a mobile phone like a money box is very popular. People put electronic money on mobile phones. Then they use their phones to pay for things in shops, to pay bills, or to send money to relatives or friends. Mobile money is a safe and easy way for people to look after their money if they don't have a bank account. In Kenya, two-thirds of the population use their mobile phones like this. This man is putting money onto his phone. African farmers use their mobile phones to get information to help them to grow crops and raise animals. In Ghana, a project sends cocoa farmers text messages with helpful information about growing cocoa beans. Mobile phones are also helping health workers to help sick people in remote places by giving medical advice over the phone. Doctors also use smartphones to record the names and addresses of their patients and what treatment they have received. A doctor is examining a patient's eye with a smartphone. More and more mobiles. Experts think that by the year 2020, there will be more than a billion mobile phones in Africa. That means nearly all the people will have a phone. At the same time, mobile networks will continue to spread. So mobile phone users will be able to make calls from more and more remote places. There are lots of mobile phone kiosks where people buy credit for their phones. In the last 20 years, mobile phones have changed the way that people all over the world communicate with each other. Mobile phones have made a huge difference to Africans. They allow people across the whole continent to talk to each other and to the rest of the world. Africa really has become the world's mobile continent. Did you know? The first mobile phones were invented about 40 years ago. At first, mobile phones were expensive to buy and very heavy. 
Calls were expensive to make, too. Mobile phones started to become popular around the year 2000 because the phones became smaller and cheaper. Mobile phone history. 1973. The first ever mobile phone call was made using a Motorola phone. 1981. The first mobile telephone network was built. 1983. The first handheld mobile phones were made for people to buy. 1990s. Small, lightweight mobile phones were invented. 1992. The first text message was sent. 2000. The first camera phone was made in Japan. 2007. The first Apple iPhone was built. Glossary. Aerials. Metal that is used for receiving signals. Communicate. Share information with others. Connecting. Joining two or more things or places together. Continent. One of the seven main areas of land on Earth. Data. Information that is used by a computer or phone. Detect. Notices something. Device. Piece of equipment. Fixed line telephone. Traditional telephone that uses cables. Invented. Designed or created. Invisible. Cannot be seen. Network. System or group of connected parts. Relatives. Members of your family. Remote. Far away. Satellites. Pieces of equipment that are in space to send and receive signals. Signals. Electrical wave that is sent to a radio, television, or mobile telephone. Subscriptions. Amounts of money paid to receive a service.